This video will show you how to wire the Multiflow Intelligent Controller. First, open the box using an Allen key and disconnect the display. There are four areas that you need to be aware of on the PC board. First, the AC power input. This is where you will connect a generator or grid power. Next, your DC power input. This is where you will connect your solar array. Then your pump output. This will send power to the pump. Lastly, if you are using a tank float switch, it will be connected to the WL terminal. There are five wires coming from the pump. Two labeled AC-DC, the thick red and black wire. The next two wires are labeled float switch, a thin blue and brown wire. And lastly, a ground or earth wire. If you are using the intelligent controller, you do not need the float switch wires. You can cut them off, tape them individually, and only bring three wires to the controller. The red AC-DC wire, the black AC-DC wire, and the ground wire. Step one, connect the pump to the controller. Step two, connect a plug for your AC input. This is your standard live, neutral, and earth connection. Step three, connect your solar array. The multi-flow range works with all the panels in series up to the maximum wattage of the pump model. Positive to positive, negative to negative. It is also a good idea to earth your panels and connect that to the controller. Lastly, if you are using a tank float switch, connect that to the WL terminal. Reconnect your display, close the box, you have now successfully wired a multi-flow intelligent controller.